In today's video, we are going to be talking about Amazon KDP SEO and optimizing your book's listing in order to get your books ranked in the Amazon search results and whether there are any secret strategies that you can use to get that number one spot in the search results. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me here today. Creating and publishing books on Amazon is fun and great until it comes time to get your books showing up in the search results on Amazon, which can be quite hard because let's face it, there are millions of books for sale on Amazon. And particularly if you are publishing books in what is considered to be a highly competitive niche, getting your book ranked in the search results can sometimes seem impossible. And for anyone who is new to Amazon or to KDP or anything like SEO, when I'm talking about getting ranked, I mean getting your books or your product, whatever it may be, to show up in the search results so customers can actually find it and hopefully buy it. I see all the time people asking for the secret to selling books on KDP or tricks and hacks to sell more books. And look, there is no secret strategy. There are no tricks and hacks. It is actually very hard to game the Amazon system. Their algorithm is very smart, but there are certain things that you can do when publishing your book to help its chances of being found when a customer does a search for your kind of book. And that's what we're going to look at today. What strategies should you implement to give your book its best possible chance to rank highly in the search results and basically get in front of those customers' eyes. So SEO or search engine optimization is a term to describe the things that websites do, techniques that they use in order to rank higher in search engine results pages. So like when you are searching for something on Google and a list of websites show up, those websites have employed certain tactics to get onto that first page of results of that search that you just did. And while Amazon isn't a search engine per se, it basically can be thought of one and basically works the same way, but specifically for shopping and products. And so we can apply some tactics to help your books rank higher in the search results. Now, Amazon's main focus is selling as many products as they possibly can. So while you might see a lot of book listings that somehow got approved with keyword stuffed titles and subtitles, Amazon actually focuses more on conversion rates rather than putting a book in the search results purely because it has repeated the keyword over and over. Just like SEO, for a search engine like Google, Amazon uses keywords to place products in the search results. In fact, Amazon actually gives us lots of information on how to make your books more discoverable by using keywords. Keywords give Amazon an initial idea of what your book is about and how relevant it is to what the customer has searched for. They say to make your book easier to find on Amazon, you need to use keywords that ac accurately portray your book's content and reflect the words customers will use when they search. Relevant keywords can boost your placement in the search results from Amazon. So that sentence I just said, relevant keywords will help boost your books, actually came directly from Amazon's website. So this is where you sometimes see people using words to describe their book that is sort of similar to what their book is, but not really. They are just trying to pull customers over in the hopes they will buy their book, even though it's not exactly what they were looking for when they typed in a search. And what I mean by that is, for example, let's say you have created an activity book. When selecting keywords to use, you decide to use some keywords around the coloring book niche with the thinking of people who like coloring books, there might be a good chance that they like activity books as well, especially if your activity book does have a small amount of coloring element to it, right? So if you use keywords related to coloring books, then someone who is searching for a coloring book might see your activity book pop up and decide to buy it, even though that wasn't actually what, they're, what they were searching for. So that's the idea around why people sometimes use keywords that don't accurately 
portray what their book is about. And this is an example of what not to do. Amazon is very good at knowing what customers are likely to buy based on previous customer search history and the behavior that previous customers have taken to end up purchasing something. So they probably aren't going to put your book in the search results or not very high anyway, because they know the customer is not likely to buy it. Here's a real life example that I saw on Amazon for the puzzle book niche. So this is a puzzle book which has been titled My Handy Dandy Puzzle Book. Now, when a customer comes to Amazon, they are not going to be typing in handy dandy puzzle book. So in this case, it would have been better for this publisher to use keywords in the title that customers are actually searching for. And they would have been able to find that out by just doing a little bit of research. This is why you want to use keyword keywords that do accurately portray what your book is about. If it's an activity book, only use keywords related to activity books. It is only going to help your book rank better. Next, they say to use keywords and search phrases that a customer would use. So put yourself into the customer's shoes and really think about what the customer is more likely to type in that search bar when searching for something. Or think of it like, how would you search for something on Amazon if you were just on there as a customer. Sometimes people try to be clever and come up with cute or funny or interesting names for their books in the hopes of maybe helping them stand out. But it in fact can hurt because you just aren't using the right keywords to get your books to show up in the search results. In particular, with low and medium content books, just call it what it is. And then you know that you are using the best keywords possible to get your book found, to get your book ranked and showing in those search results. And most importantly, getting them showing up in the search results in front of the right customer. For example, this coloring book that I found on Amazon is called Botanical Minimalist Coloring Book. Now, the fact of the matter is that customers are not going to be going onto Amazon and searching for a coloring book using the words botanic botanical or minimalist when they're looking for a coloring book. It is highly likely that they are going to go to Amazon and do a search for flower coloring book. If that's the type of coloring book that they're looking for, they're not going to be using those keywords that this book has used, botanical and minimalist. So unfortunately, this publisher has just really diminished their chances of this book coming up in the search results when a customer is searching for a floral or a garden type of coloring book. Personally, if it was me, I just would have called that coloring book flower coloring book to give it as much power as possible in the search results. Now, how can we see what customers are actually searching for? The best place is the Amazon search bar and it is a totally free way of doing this research. If you have ever done a search on Amazon, you'll have noticed that when it starts typing, it brings down a drop down menu of other search terms. So these keywords here that I've dropped down here into this menu are all keywords or keyword phrases that customers have searched for previously. So it's a really great place to get ideas on what to call your book and what keywords to use in your book's listing based on the searches that customers have already previously done. Now, just in terms of this actual drop down menu, here on the left hand side in white is the keywords that or keyword phrases that Amazon will suggest to you. They suggest to you 10 keyword suggestions. And this side over here comes from a free Chrome plugin that I have installed called AMS Search Expander. You can just go to the Google Chrome extension store, download it for free, and it will give you a whole heap more of keyword suggestions that customers have searched for in the past. Self-publishing titans also have a really great free Chrome plugin tool that does something very similar if you would prefer to download that one. So perhaps go onto Amazon, search for your keywords that you are thinking about using and see what comes up in the search results. Is it other books that are the same as what you have created? That will give you a really great idea if you are targeting the correct keywords. Now, Amazon also suggests to use 
the left hand menu to get keyword ideas. So this one might depend on the type of book that you've created and are publishing, but it can be really helpful too. For example, what we're going to do is go down here to books and books from the main menu. Now, if we scroll down here, we have some departments or categories. I'm just going to click on craft hobbies and home. And from there, I'm going to pick a category which is specific to low and medium content books, which is coloring books for grown-ups. Now, Amazon have suggested using this menu here to see other keywords, other categories that are showing up that might help you find keywords highly related to your book. So you can look down here at everything from these categories to the book series. So we can see here we've got stress relieving, we've got doodling. If we click here onto animals, it may even bring up more keywords that might help. Sometimes you can look in these book series to see if any keywords jump out, or you could even use some of the other coloring book authors that are some of the more popular ones on Amazon and just have a look at what kind of keywords they're using to see if any apply to your book that you haven't thought of before. Now there are multiple places within your book listing that you can place keywords. That's the title, the subtitle and the seven keyword slots. And then of course you can also use keywords within your advertising if you are doing any. It's really important to include keywords and that's relevant keywords in a natural flow state to your title and subtitle because these are the places that have the most weight when Amazon is deciding if your book is relevant to a customer's search or not. If you do want to take your keyword research further, there are paid tools out there that are very helpful. Tools like Helium 10 and Publisher Rocket, both are really great choices to be able to dig deeper to get keyword ideas for your listing. Now, what happens from here once we have completed all the keyword research and you've chosen the keywords that you're going to use is that the Amazon algorithm works on getting the most sales possible, the most conversions. If Amazon shows your book in the search results for a particular search term or phrase that a customer has typed in and a customer clicks on it and buys it, then the great thing is your book is only going to get shown more and more. The more that it is proven to convert to a sale, the more Amazon will push it up the search ranks, the search results, because they just want more sales, which if your keywords are perfect and your book is converting to sales, it's also great for you. If your book is showing up in the search results and customers click on it and don't buy it, then this will impact your book negatively. Perhaps your keywords are just a little bit off and customers aren't getting exactly what they want when they click on your book and they see what it's about. Maybe your description isn't selling the book as well as it could, or maybe your pricing is a little bit off or something like that. If you are certain that you're using the correct keywords, but your book still isn't making sales and you've perfected everything else that I've just mentioned, then perhaps you might need to look at the book's cover or the content or the design or something to see if there is just something missing that is causing customers to not actually go through with a purchase. Now, here are a few more tips to help you with your Amazon KDP SEO. Do not repeat the same keyword throughout your title and subtitle. Most of the time, this will get your book rejected when you try to publish it, but make sure to use each keyword only once in the title and subtitle. This is a big thing for Amazon that they have in their guidelines. Do not use other people's names, books, or brands as keywords. This is a big no-no for your book listing. However, you can use trademarked words, terms, and phrases, and other authors' names or other brand names, book titles, etc within your keywords when you are running Amazon ads. When doing keyword research or any research for that matter within Amazon on the Amazon website, open up and use an incognito window so that your personal or your previous browsing history and data on Amazon doesn't skew the results for your publishing business research. Hopefully this video has helped you understand the requirements for using keywords on Amazon KDP and why it's so important to get it right. Starting off at the very beginning when publishing your book with using the correct keywords is the foundation for getting your book ranked in the Amazon search results. If you have made it this far and to the end of the video, thank you so, so much. 
and I'll see you in the next one.